All right. Time now is 11.26 a.m. in the morning on December 1st. We are into the final month of uh, basically my life. <laughs> and we are 24 days away from leaving. Um, so, didn't have a magnificent sleep. Wish I could have fallen asleep earlier, but I went to bed at around 4.30 a.m. And then, um, went to bed. Pretty excited for today, because I get to see Natalie. And then this morning, after I woke up, which, by the way, I woke up naturally, before the alarm even rang, by like half an hour. Don't know why. Um... But, um, after I woke up, I checked my phone, and, um, Natalie said she's caught the common cold. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, I caught the common cold. And so that probably means I won't be able to see her today. Four months four months of building up leading up to this all right um you know i'm not that disappointed right now even though i should be but i feel like i've been disappointed with life so much so that disappointment doesn't hurt me anymore like well that happens and um it's too good to be true anyways i mean i've hung out with leo and pink for over 12 times already 13 times and i've hung out with out i've hung out with um zara and miriam a few times as well but natalie only twice after the dses twice and it's been over 550 days goes to show how precious a meeting with her is how rare she is she's a really rare person Um, and, uh, again, I'm not, I mean, I am disappointed, but not as much as, as I would if, you know, I was like 18 years, if I was like 17 years old now, or 18 years old, actually. I mean, last year I was still a different person. Um, and, um, yeah. At least an, an attempt was made. At least she tried. At least I can't say that she didn't try to reach me out and hang out with me. I mean, maybe maybe a couple weeks later, after she's done with the final exams, maybe we're going to hang out finally. But um, at least an attempt was made to hang out with me for two times, for at least one time. At least there is an attempt of her, you know, trying to reach out to me. At least there was an attempt. So uh, there is that. My finger still hurts. It's not magically healed, unfortunately. And um, I guess that's all about life. I mean, I feel like Hong Kong is finally entering its cold season. So... A couple of weeks ago, pretty much everybody in Japan is is getting cold. Like, everybody's getting cold. And everybody's tweeting about being cold and sick. And that's just a couple of weeks ago. And now I feel like that's happening to Hong Kong as well. Because my brother is also cold. You know, he's caught the cold. He's coughing. Has fever. And um, feels sick and tired. And we were kind of worried because we were scared that it's the coronavirus. And given that my brother is very touchy, like he doesn't like washing his hands and he likes being dirty and unhygienic. Um, a thought crossed our minds that he may have the coronavirus. But of course, that's too bad to be true as well. So, um, yeah. 
I'm gonna go to math class. I'm gonna edit my Shaten video and my Korea video and uh Um yeah. I asked Natalie um I didn't ask Natalie. Natalie said, Well, do you want us to grab tea anyways? And I said, Well, if you feel really sick and you don't want to, then you don't we don't have to. As much as I want to see her, um I guess um It'd be better if it if, if I don't like push her or anything like that would suck like I still respect her health and all even though I I, I would have been very happy to, to see her more happy than expected you know I hate her I hate her with all my guts but I feel like my relationship with Natalie is a very special kind of friendship like like we've been friends for over six years and there's just, it's, just, it's been a roller coaster ride of hatred and liking each other like not romantically i mean at one point natalie even said uh i remember this my whole life but natalie said to me at one point i am her most um her most um what's the word pentatonic no, it's, uh, I forgot, but, um, the least romantically interested person ever in her life, which is, a uh, an insult, probably. Um, and there are so many times where we argued, but, um, you know, it's December 1st of 2021, and I realized that we haven't argued with each other in... In in two years and two and a half years already. I mean, last time we argued. When was the last time we argued? I and Natalie. Actually, it's way before that. I think it was early 2019. The last time we argued because of the Topher incident. To be fair, we didn't even argue during that. But I guess I just didn't have any. I just hated her for a while. In early 2019. Um, actually, isn't there the, um, okay, we didn't argue during the Keith thing, but I also hated her for a while, uh, after she told me about the Keith thing, and, uh, after she told me about Grant, and how she fell in love with Grant, and how Grant also conveniently fell in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> That was a couple of years ago. So my relationship with Natalie is a very special one. It's different from my friendship. Like I would treat Natalie very differently from how I treat Leo, Pink Zara, or Miriam. Like and other friends if I ever made them. Like Natalie is um I mean I I think she's an interesting person. I think she's pretty complicated. Which I like. I think it's really cool that she's a complicated person. But I think, um, furthermore, um, I don't know, I just had, uh, you know, our relationship is a roller coaster ride. You know, she's done things to me that, that I hate, you know, betrayals. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, um, to illustrate how different a normal friendship and a friendship between me and Natalie is, even if it's one-sided, even if Natalie lumps me with all her other regular friends, right? Which I think she actually does, but, but, but I don't do that to Natalie. Is that I always insult Natalie because A, it's fun, but also B... It feels nice, like, like I hate hurting people, but if there's one person who deserves to get hurt, um, but in a respectful way, not not because I hate her kind of way, it would be Natalie. I just don't know why. And. Um, Again, she's a really rare person, so, you know, 
every chance I get to meet her, it's it's just great. And I guess I'm just like desperate for meeting people and meeting like really interesting people, I guess. Or meeting people who have a history with me. Like again with all the betrayals and all the all the you know um arguing all the lies and secrets and um all the joking around all the missed opportunities i mean i've seen her cry in front of me before and she had seen me cry in front of her before <laughs> that is very much true i think i cried in front of her one time and that is october 24th of 2019 when i failed to say happy birthday to mary i actually cried in front of her and she never really like came to me and cried to me personally but she there has been multiple moments when she like cry laughed because she went insane or something and a bunch of people were surrounding her but there was one time when she cry laughed and she was sitting in front of a locker and you know, i just sat beside her and spoke to her for a little bit as if I'm some professional and I know how to deal with her insanity. Oh, so cool. If I can't be as unpredictable and as cool and as demonic as Natalie, I might as well be her freaking sidekick, right? Our math professor seemed to be injured. What the heck? Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, as you can tell, I'm in no condition to go out as well. I mean, it's an injured finger. Um, but, uh, yeah. Well, that's all. That's all. Alright, time now is through 9pm on December 1st. Um, <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, at around 2 p.m. an hour ago, um, I um, I asked Natalie if his, she's asleep. She said no. I thought she went back to bed because she said she's sleepy. She says she wants to sleep. Uh, but apparently she didn't. So uh, she asked me if I still want to get food. And I'm like, well, it's up to you. And so at the end, she decided to not go. And instead asked me, okay, then how about next Wednesday, uh, next Monday? And I'm like, yeah, I'm free because I'm always free. Except next Monday, it's December 5th. And on December 5th, I'm going to have to have dinner with my grandparents. And, um, and by grandparents, I mean dad's parents. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I can have lunch and tea with Natalie. That would be great as well. So uh, I'm going to do that then. Yeah, and besides, December 4th is going to be like the graduation ceremony. And I may or may not be emotionally wrecked by this ceremony. <laughs> like, the same way how I cried at the end of uh, the final vow. When I uh, did my vow for the, for the school, in front of the school. I cried. Well, this graduation ceremony may actually be even more emotional for me. So I don't know, but, um, I hope Mary's going to be there. Okay. Right now, I don't think Mary's going to be there. And I'm happy that I don't believe that Mary's going to be there because with low expectations, uh, because with low expectations, you don't get disappointed. And I legitimately don't think that Mary will show up, honestly. And I and, and it wouldn't be the end of the world. Like, if if um, I and Mary will never see each other again and never speak to each other again. You know what? The way we ended our conversation, our final conversation, you know, it was satisfying. It was a satisfying ending to our short conversation, you know? It, it was a satisfying ending. It was conclusive. And you know what? I'm happy with that. I mean, I, I can't ask for more, except it's impossible to ask for more. So, yeah. But um, if Mary does somehow show up, surprisingly, I, it would be amazing. If Bernice shows up too, 
like I would have something to say to her as well. Even though I, okay, I'm not going to plan what am I going to say to Mary or what am I going to say to Bernice. I'm not going to plan anything. I'm just going to go there and whatever. And that's it. And December 4th may emotionally wreck me. And if it does, well, on the next day, I'm going to have lunch and tea with Natalie. So, you know, I guess I'm just not going to be as emotionally wrecked, I guess. A one-two punch. That's what you call it. Um, but, um, yeah, um, Natalie has a f the final exam on December 4th on the graduation day, so she can't come. If she does, it would be amazing. Um, I, I'd had a lot of fun, but, uh, at the end, um, that's not gonna take place, and that's okay. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna go out for an adventure tomorrow instead, which is gonna be cool, and, um, that's it. Okay, so the on and off switch for the computer is fixed, but now we have another problem. And this isn't the first time I've had this problem before, but usually after I put the videos here, number one, they're usually upside down. Number two, after I export them into Adobe Premiere Pro, they're usually still upside down, uh, especially recently. Usually it doesn't work like that, but ever since I switched to a new phone, it's been upside down again. But now we have this. So. Every time I have new videos, I rename it. But once every four or five months, this happens. And yes, usually it's gonna load a while because this computer sucks. If I left click or right click on anything, it's going to buffer for a few seconds. But this time it's different. It will buffer forever. It will buffer forever. I've already done this once a little bit earlier, like a few minutes ago, and I've waited for a few minutes and it's still buffering. I will not be able to rename these videos unless I restart this computer again, or maybe twice, or maybe trice, or maybe thrice. I will never be able to right click on anything anymore. And that's a problem because I kind of don't want to restart this computer because I'm afraid that halfway restarting this computer is going to crash and shut down and because of the very weird faulty button that has been broken since today maybe I'll never be able to turn on this computer ever again all right time now is 10 31 p.m on December 1st so um yeah um it's bleeding again, and that's mainly because it is right at the tip of my eating finger. And when I hold the mouse like this, I have to press, I have to press it like this. So I keep injuring it. I keep not letting my cut form a scab. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I've lost to do, obviously. I just finished some Spanish homework, and um... Yeah, I gotta read some psychology right now. Um, I did manage to do most of everything I want to do, though. I did finish most of everything. Um, obviously, um, I don't have time to edit Korean videos, but I kind of have to. So later, during Spanish class, I will edit Korean videos. I don't think I have time to watch two Succession episodes today, so I'm only going to be watching one if, that, if necessary. I'm going to try my best to read as many uh, as much as possible for the psychology textbook at least 40 pages at least 40 more pages and tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up a little bit early I'm going to do the psychology quiz I'm going to finish all the psychology textbook reading I'm going to do the quiz and then afterwards I'm going to leave for an adventure seems and that's going to be that and uh, I hope this thing heals within three days and then afterwards um yeah, and then afterwards, um, there's that. Yeah. Um, I actually haven't finished writing the version. I mean, I kind of have finished writing the last scene, but there are some addendum scenes that I need to do. So there's that. And um, nothing else. Um, obviously, uh, I don't talk about my short films anymore because there's literally no point in talking about it right now. 
I want to make Conspiracies the short film when I return, but that is such impossible. But um, I don't know, man. Maybe it is possible. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, for now, I got to focus on what I have in front of me. So 23 days left. Technically, um, uh, 24, but but actually technically 23 because today is about to be over. And um, to think that I still have a bunch of places I want to go and there's still a bunch of things I want to do. I don't know if 23 is enough. The next 23 days is going to be super jam-packed busy. So, um, wow, wow. Um, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to have to seriously give some thought about this. But, uh, yeah, uh, Natalie told me that she slept for six hours, had a six-hour nap, so, uh, good for her, I guess. Clearly, she is, uh, having a cold unfortunately so um yeah um rip um one of my followers one of my subscribers spoke to me a little bit on twitter dms i'm not gonna specify who but um yeah um i don't find myself anxious speaking to strangers anymore i mean i'm still a little scared i i still i'm still a little cautious but you know i feel myself being more opened you know that may be a good thing, that may be a bad thing, but, um, thing is, I've changed. And I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse. But, uh, I'm gonna end it here, and, um, that's all for today. That's all for today, yeah. Alright, so time now is 2.28pm. Uh, <laughs> kill me! Uh, so I read the textbook from... 1240 to 140 and it was just exhausting man i just don't i don't want to read the fucking textbook anymore and uh at last i did the quiz i spent 43 minutes this time and it has 35 questions which is more than last time and i got a 33 out of 35 you can't even see it there we go 33 out of 35 which is not bad. It's not bad. But this means I only... I can only afford to lose two more points. If I still want to get an A, I can only afford to lose two more points. But honestly, this is not bad. This is fine. Um, and I, I, I actually worked hard for this. I worked hard. I spent time thinking. And there were a couple of questions that... I legitimately don't know how to answer, but only a couple. And, um, yeah, that's all. That's all. And, uh, originally I wanted to do an album review, like, right now, but, um, yeah. Oh, wow. Apparently, the, the two questions that I got wrong are both questions that I thought I got right. Whereas the questions that I don't know how to answer are answered correctly okay interesting the mean is 33.17 that's bullshit that is bullshit people are really try harding all right all right well i can only lose i can only afford to lose two more points and then i can get past 90 percent and uh, i'll get an a I can only afford to lose two more points. Yep, also this is far from the first time I've visited a museum alone, so you know what, screw it, let's do it. Time now is 11.38 p.m. on November, uh, December 2nd. So, I left my apartment at about, um, damn, the weather is so dry. My hands and feet are all dried up. 
Um, no, um, I, uh, left the apartment at around 3.15, and I was a little bit in a hurry because I was a little bit late in my schedule, but before leaving, I did one thing, and that is I tried on the suit that my dad... So, for graduation ceremony, even though... Uh, even though it's been, uh, a couple years, uh, a year and a half since I've technically graduated. Um, but I had to, I, I wanted to attend and I had to attend. So I had to wear a suit and tie. I asked Miriam, what are people going to wear? Because I actually have no idea. They could wear anything, right? I know they have to wear nice clothes, but I didn't know exactly what to wear. Like, is there... Is there a dress code where everybody's just going to wear suit and tie? Or is it just like nice clothes and, and, and that's it? I don't know. I asked Miriam and then I asked Leo. And both of them also answered, well, of course, everybody's going to wear suit and tie. Or, or or not tie, you know, but but you know, a suit and a shirt. Something very professional. Saijong, a Western set. And, um... Yeah, um, so I asked my dad if I can borrow some of his, uh, suits and shirts because my graduation dinner suit is, uh, completely not suitable for that occasion because the shirt is purple and the suit is blue and flowery. It's ridiculous. Wearing something like that to a graduation ceremony is beyond ridiculous. It is just seeking for attention and it is embarrassing as hell. So I had to wear something plain and simple for the ceremony. So I asked my dad for a plain white shirt and a plain black suit, and that's all I need. And so my dad lent me, and this earlier today, I tried it on, and as expected, it's too big. I look like David Byrne. It's, um, I'm never gonna wear that. No, 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 it's too big. It's actually too big. So... So, um, I don't know what to do. First of all, it's two days until graduation ceremony. Actually, less than two days. Second of all, there's no way in hell am I going to spend another thousand dollars buying a suit. I talked to my mom about this a little bit earlier after dinner and she said the same thing. There's no way in hell I'm going to let you buy a suit for a thousand dollars just for this ceremony, of course. So how do I solve this problem? Well, there are two solutions. One solution proposed by my mom is that I'm just going to wear the friggin' gray coat again, which is nice. I love that coat. That is a nice ass coat. I love that coat. I love that gray coat. And the second solution to that. Okay, but A, I kind of don't want to wear the gray coat because a it looks less serious than a regular suit it just looks less serious it's more casual you know more like walking on the streets elegantly kind of kind of suit you know it's it's rich and elegant but it's not formal enough now another problem is that i've already worn that gray coat two years ago on Christmas Celebration Day, aka Victory Day, 2019, December 20th. And if I wear it again, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. The world will not collapse. But people will obviously see that I only have one coat because in the Instagram photo shoot that I did, I'm still wearing that coat. And um, it's just, you know, I'd love a little variety to it. The second solution is to literally wear the suit of the graduate dinner. Yes, it's blue. Yes, it's flowery. You know, blue is fine, but it's flowery. That's the point. It's it's fancy. 
it's not serious. But here's the thing, man. I spent so much money buying that suit and for it to to not be worn it's just a waste of time and i know that i'm gonna bring the grad din suit to the usa and maybe in some special occasion i'm gonna wear it but what if there isn't going to be a special occasion what if there isn't going to be one so you know what i'm gonna wear that plus plus another argument i can make is that if i wear the gray coat what am I going to wear for pants? How am I going to match the gray coat with my pants? A gray coat like that should be matched with uh, jeans, you know. Except wearing jeans to a graduation ceremony is dumb. But if I wear the Grattin suit, the suit actually matches with the custom-made trousers. Now, I can wear that. I can definitely wear that. So I'm going to wear that. Little, little fancy, I know, but you know what? Who cares? I'm going to wear a white suit, a white shirt inside. So it's just going to look a little, you know, you know, not serious, but, but at least I tried. Okay. Anyways, um, anyways, I arrived at Team Sajo, went into the Museum of History and turns out I can't record videos there. But taking photos is allowed, which is stupid. So I did take videos there, but but I tried to be as low key as possible. So to, so the security guards will not notice that I'm actually recording videos. And I also like I'm really cautious. Like if the security guard isn't paying attention to me, if he or she is distracted, I'm filming. I'm filming. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I went to Kowloon Park and I went to Space Museum. And Space Museum was not bad. Honestly, I had... I had, um... Reservations. Okay, I had uh, hesitations. Before I went to the Space Museum. Because Space Museum is for kids. Uh, uh... An adolescent man walking into the Space Museum alone with a camera. It's just stupid. But you know what? I went in there... I mean, what can they do? Arrest me? They can't do that. So I just went in there and just enjoyed my time there, which is not that enjoyable given that I'm alone and I'm a teen, uh, I'm an adolescent, but um, it is what it is. Um, yeah, um, there's that. Came back home and I was actually right on schedule at around 7 p.m. I uh, left Team Sacho on MTR. And at that rate, I would arrive home at around 7.45, which is not early at all. But you know what? It's fine. And then when the MTR train arrived at Wan Chai, it made an announcement that we have to get off. So everybody got off. And I didn't know what was happening. Nobody knew what was happening. So we all got off and it was just a sea, an ocean of people an ocean of people just completely packed there's not a single spot in that station where there's no one standing on it everybody's standing there everybody's there and everybody's trying to exit the station and so i was smart because wan chai even though i don't live there obviously i'm not in wan chai now i'm not completely unfamiliar with wan chai so Okay, I need to uh, cross another leg. Um, so I knew exactly which bus station to go to. So I went to that bus station and oh my God, there were at least a hundred people lining up for the same bus that I wanted to get on, bus number 702. So I stood at the bus, you know, what else can I do? Wait, I can't wait. My phone was at like, 15% battery at that point or, or 13 and I haven't had dinner so I just stood there and waited in line and I waited for 40 minutes which went by pretty quick I mean I didn't even use my phone all that much because it was running out of battery at the end it was like at the end my phone got to 4% that's how bad it was
<laughs> All right. Lots of dancing in, outside of my bedroom. I, I, I love it. Um, so I waited for 40 minutes, got onto the bus, went back home. And at that point, my phone was already at 4%. It was, the battery was draining fast. Um, and then that's it. Got back home, took a shower, had dinner. Here I am. Um, and it's already 1150. So I'm going to film an album review now. I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to edit it tomorrow, but I'm not going to edit it now. And then afterwards, I'm going to watch There Will Be Blood. And then afterwards, I'm going to take a shower, go to bed. Yay. That's all. I don't know if Mary's going to show up on graduation ceremony or not. But regardless, chances are I'm going to be meeting Natalie on the next day. All right, time now is 2.23 a.m. in the morning. Um, I had to pause my movie because I had to do this. This is a marshmallow, marshmallow from maybe two years ago, maybe three years ago, maybe even more. I don't know. But it is Christmas, and I mean, this thing is Christmas. It's a Christmas gift, but obviously it's... Not Christmas yet until 20 something days later, which means that this is at least a year old. But I know for sure that it's been there for quite a long time. Now, I could just throw this away, but I should all, I also low key want to try a four year old marshmallow, which probably wouldn't expire. I mean, it's a marshmallow, it's just a bunch of sugar. Well, um, if I get food poisoning, well, you won't be hearing from me. It's like, it's like regular marshmallow. I don't know, it's like regular marshmallow. It's just dry and stale. Still tastes like something though. All right, um, time now is 11.35 a.m. on December 3rd. Yes, I'm supposed to be in a math class right now. Hold on. Okay, so I joined the Zoom meeting, but I muted myself obviously, and I muted the uh, Zoom, so you know, I'm just gonna talk. So um, yeah, all is well. Last night, all is well. I was a healthy man when I went to bed, and I went to bed very, very late. At around 4.45 a.m. I mean, I tried my best to be as early as possible. Um, anyways, um, of course, I had to wake up early again today for the math class. And um, I set the alarm to uh, 10.45 a.m. as always. Not 10.45, but around 10.45, like 10.48. And... Um, at around 9.50 a.m., I suddenly woke up, and I looked, and I'm like, oh, wait, never mind. My alarm still hadn't rung. And then I swallowed, you know, I swallowed my saliva. And um, I realized that I have a sore throat. Are you kidding me? Two days before the graduation ceremony. Actually, one day now. And you give me all this shit. So first with the injured finger, which is fine. It's not sickness. It's just, you know, it's just an injury. But now this is different. It's like the world is trying to challenge me before the graduation ceremony. Like, like don't go, don't go. Oh my god. Okay, so, um... If this is a cold, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, of course, it could be worse. But it's still very, very bad, given that I have to go tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I have to go to the graduation ceremony. I actually have to go. Um, so I really don't know. Um, I don't know what the hell am I going to do. Now, it's not the worst sore throat ever, but it it is a sore throat. I hope it magically 
heals itself tomorrow morning because otherwise I'm going to be so extremely pissed. I'm going to be so extremely pissed if my throat stays sore tomorrow morning, which is actually very likely, but it, it has to. Also, I uh, Natalie canceled the uh, drinking tea with me because she had a cold. And if I also had a cold, I would also have to cancel mine too, because A, reciprocity. B, if I have a virus, I don't want to pass it around as well. I mean, she told me that if she has a virus, she doesn't want to pass it around. And I don't want to pass my virus around if I have one. I mean, I, I definitely have viruses in my body, but if I, if the one responsible for my cold, the one that is actually contagious, maybe, perhaps. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm so friggin' pissed. And I hope I magically heal tomorrow. I hope I do. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything else today. I'm so fucking pissed. I don't know. And my feet is hurting. And it's, uh, it, it's, it feels like an injury. Not really like a, like a bone hurt or something like that. Not really like a deep hurt or something like that. It was more of an injury. But I feel like it's, it's, um, it's, uh, because it was too dry, I guess. And my, my feet is beginning to, uh, you know, like crack, like crack up. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm breaking down just before the graduation ceremony. So, um, fuck, man. Fuck. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to drink medicine. I'm going to um, sleep as early as possible. I want to go to bed at 4 a.m. today, okay? I don't know if I'll immediately fall asleep, but at least I want to go to bed 4 a.m. today. Or even earlier would be great. And, uh, yeah. God damn it. Alright, time now is 10.03 p.m. on December 3rd. Um, so I'm fucking pissed. Now, um... Before, um, a while ago, I was looking at my best days and worst days of the year list. And, um, I saw that I don't have a lot of worst days contenders. So I was like, okay, maybe before I leave Hong Kong, there will be one more terrible day. And then my list would be complete because then there will be 10 entries. Well, I think I found, I think I found it. In fact, uh, I think this may be one of the worst days of the year for me. Um, <laughs> you know, the graduation ceremony got canceled last year. The graduation dinner got canceled. And I was pretty much disillusioned. And then there's a new graduation ceremony. And even though it's nowhere near as great as the dinner, of course, dinner would be cooler. You get to eat, you get to spend more time there. Um, but a graduation ceremony is the, the best I could ask for as of this moment. And conveniently, I get sick today. Conveniently. Out of all days. And I don't get sick often. The last time I got sick was a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. I mean, months. Like, at least nine months ago. Um... And uh, the vaccine doesn't count because it's not like I didn't naturally get sick because of the, the vaccine. It, I, I got artificially sick. So goddamn convenient, huh? So goddamn convenient. And and Mary might be might go there. I don't know. So goddamn con convenient. I've been waiting for this day for over one and a half years and I just so conveniently get sick today. Now, I'm still going to go tomorrow. But I'm not going to have such a great, enjoyable experience unless I magically get well tonight or next morning. Um, 
In fact, I kind of want to just skip Spanish class. I mean, I'm sick. In real life, if you have to take classes on ground, if you get sick, you also skip it. That's the logical answer. But it's online, so I guess I don't have a lot of excuses. Um, I don't know. I, I can actually skip it. Another thing is that if you get sick, sleep a lot and drink a lot of water. I can drink a lot of water. But as you can tell, I didn't sleep much for the last three days. The night between Tuesday and Wednesday, well, didn't sleep a lot because I have math class on Wednesday. Wednesday to Thursday, I didn't sleep a lot because I had to wake up a little early for the psychology exam and the uh, Team Sajo adventure. Thursday to Friday, I didn't sleep a lot because, again, math class. And conveniently, I get sick. And tomorrow, I also have to wake up early for the graduation ceremony, of course. So one solution to that is to sleep earlier, but I don't know how earlier can I sleep. Maybe I'll take some melatonin pills. Good old days, huh? Um, but if I skip Spanish class, I'm going to go to bed at around 3, maybe I'm going to fall asleep at around 4, because of course I won't be able to fall asleep immediately, given that nowadays my sleeping time, my uh, uh, acuesto time is uh, my, my acostar time is usually 5 a.m. in the morning and then finally um, the medicine they know they won't work I don't think they will I mean Panadol will make my fever go down that's fine but the medicine my mom provided is this Chinese medicine pill which I'm not 100% sure if it works or not, because it's not very scientific. It's not a very scientifically proven pill. And I have to take four pills each time and three times a day. And I've taken eight today so far, so two times. The lozenges help my sore throat, but it doesn't mean it's getting better. It just feels better. It doesn't mean it's getting better. Oh, well, good thing my finger is healed. I don't have a... I'm not bleeding anymore. Haha. Is it healed? I'm pretty sure it is. My cut here is different from my cut down here. My cut down here is literally like blood and then scab and then that's it. But this... The cut up top is a little bit weird. It's like it just disappeared yesterday. It just disappeared. Um. But yeah. I really hope that I magically heal tomorrow morning, which is unlikely. I'm not that strong of a person. But if I am, if uh, Mary is somehow a supernatural entity, I know she's not. But if she is, please heal me or something, okay? <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. If I get sick yesterday, it would have been fine. Because maybe by tomorrow morning, I can heal in time. Maybe. If I get sick tomorrow, it would be fine too. Because sick day one, probably not that bad. But usually day two is bad, right? Tomorrow is going to be my sick day two. It has to be today. I have to, out of all the days, out of all 365 days of the year, I have to get sick today. Is this is this some sort of divine message telling me to not go tomorrow? Because... The graduation ceremony is just going to be so detrimental and traumatic and it's going to psychologically scar me forever and God up there is telling me to not go? Is that, what, is, is that what's happening? I really don't know. And I get so fucking annoyed outside because my brother is sick too. And he passed the sickness to me. Probably. It's very likely. I can't find any other reason. And... He's not wearing a mask right now. He coughs all the time. And he still eats at the same dinner table. And I'm tolerant, okay? I'm not mad at him. And I don't want to blame him. But the truth is, he's coughing at us. And we're breathing his coughs. And I got it. So, if I if my fever get worse... Okay, I don't actually have a fever right now. An hour ago, I checked. I'm at 36.8. But... It feels like the beginning to a fever. It feels like I'm heating up. So I took a Panadol pill. 
I know this feeling because the last time I took my second vaccine, my first vaccine, I also got fever. I know exactly how it feels like. It's a little dizzying. It's like your head is heavy. Your eyes feel hot because it's heating up and your fingers and your toes feel cold. I know how it feels like. It feels like I'm about to get fever. You know, if, if it's actually my brother who made this, who did this to me, in a sense, my brother ruined what I've waited for for one and a half year. For one and a half years, I've been waiting for this moment and my brother just ruined it. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm not really in the mood to do anything right now. There's Spanish homework. I don't even want to fucking do it. There's math homework. I don't even want to do it. I just don't have the mood to do anything. In fact, I was going to watch a TV episode and an anime later. Like, a few anime episodes. I think I'm going to watch the TV episode. But that's it. I, I'm not... I, I just fucking can't. This is terrible. This is actually terrible. Like, these... This sequence of days is just bad. Me injuring my finger. And then Natalie getting sick so I can't see her. I can't blame her. But it's just a shame, right? And then me getting sick... Yeah, it's it's um it's terrible. It's stupid and um there's one other bad thing. I forgot what it is. There's one other thing that I was like, "Oh man, it sucks." Oh yeah, yesterday uh the the whole NPR shutdown thing. I guess that kind of sucks even though it wasn't like that bad. So uh yeah, these 4 days, right? November 30th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, wow, wow, um, well, and I was actually looking forward to tomorrow because I was pretty sure that tomorrow was going to be the happiest day of the year for me, if I see Mary, it will become the happiest day of my life, regardless of, um, regardless if, I speak to Mary or not tomorrow, if Mary shows up, it will already become the best day of my life so far. I may even tear up. And if I see Mary, I will speak to her. I will. There's no questioning in that. Like, if I can if I can speak to her two years ago, I can speak to her now, okay? I, I mean, I speak to strangers now. Um, a couple people followed me on Instagram recently, finally... Dean and Zane, um, they finally realized that I have an Instagram account, I guess. Um, and, um, yeah, I spoke to Miriam a little bit. I, I, I kind of want to be honest and tell Miriam and, and, and others, I guess, about the fact that I'm actually sick. But then I don't because I don't want to scare them. And I have to go tomorrow. And Miriam and I and Miriam were speaking and I said, well, I said I wanted to sleep. And I said, there's still a lot of homework. And I said, it's cold. And I said, I'm wearing a robe thing right now. And Miriam said, I'm coming. C-U-M. And I was a little shocked at first. But then I realized that she probably doesn't know what that means. And then she sent me a voicemail saying that she actually wants to say come. Which is a Cantonese word for, you know, covering yourself with something. You know, so covering yourself with a robe thing. You know, blanket. So she's like... And I wanted to tell her that it's a bad word. So I said, don't don't say that, you know. And she, and she asked me, what does it mean? And I said, I don't, I can't tell you. It's a, I said, I can't tell you. It's a big bad word. So she actually checked. And it got screenshot. She screenshotted it and sent it back to me. And I'm like. Yeah, so um, that was awkward. But I guess that's nowhere near as awkward as all the times Natalie has told me about her doings. And come to think of it, it's actually quite surprising that out of all people, 
the person who tell me about Natalie's things, experiences, is Natalie herself. And I'm I, and I know Natalie does this to like a few people, like Tyrus and, and Kingsley, because they're just so friggin' trustworthy. Oh my god. I mean, Tyrus is trustworthy, even though I used to hate him, but Kingsley is a different person. And, uh, Natalie, Natalie's pretty open, you know? She's like, oh yeah, uh, I fucking, you know, did something last Tuesday or something. <laughs> it's Natalie, like, every time, like, if I look at the the text messages and, and the photos that I and Natalie send each other on WhatsApp... It's really difficult to tell who sent it. Is it me or is it Natalie? And it's difficult to tell what kind of friends we are. Because sometimes, like, Natalie sent all kinds of stuff to me. All the way from memes to regular photos to, like, her selfies. Which is weird because usually you don't send your selfies to someone unless you're that someone's girlfriend. She would send a photo of her, like, slit, wrist slits. And then she would send me a, like, a very exposed photo of her. Like, not exposed enough to be, like, PG-13. Like, it's it's a PG, I guess. But it's still more exposed than normal photos, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, again, I'd like to say that Natalie is a special kind of friend. She's not just a friend. I kind of hate her. I kind of like her. Um... It's complicated. And if I'm sick on uh, December 5th, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I I want, I want actually want to see her and speak to her like in real life. Alright, so time now is... um. God, my throat is hurting. Um, time now is 1.33 a.m. Um... I, um, I did what I had to do, man. I took a shower. I, um, I applied, uh, hand cream on my hands so that it wouldn't look as wrinkly and dry. I, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, honestly, I'm not super prepared for tomorrow. I was just looking for shoes because, of course, tomorrow I have to wear shoes. I asked my dad, um, if he has any, um, black leather shoes, and he says he doesn't, uh, but he has some brown leather shoes, and they're not really, like, formal, so, um, I'm gonna use the black leather shoes that I used to go to school with two years ago, and, um, you know, it could be better, but it's fine, you know, it's not the end of the world, but, uh, yeah, it could be better, could, could have looked better. Now, my sore throat is still here. It hasn't magically disappeared yet, um, which is very concerning. My biggest concern right now is that tomorrow I wake up and I have fever. Because this these things happen overnight. You go to bed, you wake up, and then you're a different person. Last night I go to, went to bed, I woke up, I had sore throat. It just did. And, um, I don't want to wake up again and realize that I have fever. So, if that happens, I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself. If that actually happens. Alright, time now is 3.02 a.m. in the morning. I originally wanted to skip the Spanish class because I'm sick. And I want to just skip it and go to bed. But, um... I... I, I, I had to. So I went to Spanish class today and um, I don't really regret it. You know, obviously I want to go to bed. I'm tired. But something really cool happened. So ever since the beginning of Spanish class, um, I have already noticed that one of my classmates is um, is a man. Um, a man, a uh, father with a beard, big man. Um, in his uh, 30s uh, who's also in the same uh, film script writing class as I am uh, two semesters ago aka um, half a year ago and for the longest time I've been wanting to talk to him about it but we never really got the chance because never we were never in a 
breakout room together for an activity. So I was waiting for the moment. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really waiting. If it never happens, it's fine. But if it happens, of course, it would be cool. And it happened today. Uh, he ended up in a breakout room with me, and it's just the two of us. And um, I was, and we were doing. I I didn't want to reveal this information to him immediately because we were supposed to do an exercise, so we have to do this exercise first. Uh, so we did this exercise, and before we finished, we were sent back to the main room. So I was a little disappointed. I'm like, oh, oh well, maybe I'll never be able to uh, speak to him and stuff. And then, out of nowhere, the, prof the professora, la profesora, was like, okay, uh, I'm, so I'm going to send you back to the breakout room again, the same one from before. So apparently we have a second breakout room activity to, for today. And that was amazing, because two breakout room activities in one class is very rare. So uh, I got to go back. And before we even began our second activity, I right off the bat, I told him, like, um, yo, uh, not, not yo, I said, uh, I said, um, I, I was going to say that, and my voice is kind of weak because I have a sore throat, but I, I said, I was going to say that, um, we were both in the, uh, script writing course, uh, a couple semesters ago, and he's like, oh, oh yeah, you know, it, it doesn't seem like he forgot about it, I think he knows it, but he just doesn't really care about it all that much. And then he asked me, like, oh, uh, what do you think about it? And, and he was really nice, you know. Uh, what do you think about it? And I said, uh, it's fine. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the reality TV stuff. And then he said, well, me, me too, me either. And then um, um, he said he thinks the professor is a little bit old-timey because a lot of the writing techniques and stuff are like 80s, 90s stuff. And um, he asked me if I have any experience in film. I said, uh, no, not really. I'm still young and I laughed a little bit. And then he said he has a, a decade of experience in film and he said that I, I shouldn't take this course seriously. Um, so uh, there's that. And then he, and then I was thinking, okay, maybe we should go back to doing the activity, the task. And um, he said that first, he's like, oh, okay, well, uh, let's do the task now before, you know, the professora, because sometimes the la professora would peek into a breakout room activity to see how we're doing individually. Um, but that, that didn't happen today, but sometimes it would happen. So he's like, okay, so let's do the task now, you know, in case la professora sees us talking about other stuff but uh, yeah nice nice guy nice dude and uh, I'm happy that I got the chance to speak to him even though I should like brush my teeth and go to bed right now <sighs> um <clears throat> okay um <clears throat> time now is 11 28 a.m in the morning on December 4th and, uh, yeah, this is it. Wow, my hair is terrible. You know what? Maybe I should, like, wash my hair. I don't know. Okay, so, I'm gonna film a separate video for this, but, um, quick thoughts. I didn't sleep well at all, even though I took three sleeping pills. Um, I went to bed at around 3.30 a.m., which is revolutionary, but I couldn't fall asleep until 5.00. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's cold. Maybe it's because it's nervous. Um, I don't know. At around 7, I woke up a little bit. And then at around 10, I woke up a little bit. And then I just couldn't go back to sleep. So now I'm here. Woke up. Did my hair. And my feet is hurting. Turns out I had a cut at my feet. On my feet. There's a cut on my feet. Great. So I'm going to have trouble walking. Um, I don't want to be late, so I'm just going to stop it here. All right, so um, time now is 11.25 a.m. on December 4th. Um, so today is a really special day. And um, that is because today we're going to have the graduation ceremony. 
except um, I already technically graduated, but um, I guess um, so. Well, there was supposed to be a graduation ceremony last year, at December, on de in December, but it was canceled. So all the people in my form cannot actually graduate. And then a little bit later. We learned that the graduation uh, dinner is canceled. So at that point, I was already prepared to be disappointed and disillusioned. But not too long after, and by not too long, I mean a few months later, we have the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 to 2021, which is not my year. But um, people from my year, 2019 to 2020, are also invited. So, you know what? Let's go there. And um, there are several things I need to talk about. First of all, um, if this graduation... And even though this seems really exciting and fun... I honestly don't have a lot of high hopes for this graduation ceremony. I'm just going to go back to school, sit there, and then leave, and, and that's it. I'm going to enjoy my time there if I can. That's it. I I have lost my ability to care. Um, there are 365 days in a year, and I get sick really rarely. And out of all days... I got sick yesterday. I woke up and I had a sore throat. It's almost like if God exists, God doesn't want me to go to the graduation ceremony today. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's going to psychologically traumatize me. I don't know. So uh, hopefully I get well and I'm going to go anyways because screw it. I've waited for over one and a half years for this. I deserve to do this. I deserve to go there. Also, um, I've made several videos already talking about how this will be the last time I go to the school. Well, guess what? I actually don't know if it's the last time I'll ever go to my school or not. Earlier in January this year, I made a video on uh, me returning to the school to retrieve my graduation, my graduation certificate with pink. And then not too long ago in October... I went back to the school and did a walking tour around the school and uh, did a final vow. And it was such a dramatic and emotionally cathartic final vow. It would be the perfect ending. But no. We have one more thing to do. And that is the graduation ceremony. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much because I want I don't want to be late. I have to fix my hair because it still looks terrible. I will trim my facial hair and um, I will do whatever preparations that need to be done. Well, here I am, going back to the school with a vengeance. Well, here goes nothing. I'm early, so that's that's cool. All right, so time now is 11.28 p.m. on December 4th. I've already spoken for about 40 minutes on what happened today, so I'm not going to speak too much now. Uh, refer to that video, watch that video if you're interested in knowing what happened today, uh, because a lot had happened today. But um, in uh, to summarize, I uh, went back today and not a lot of people showed up. Mary didn't show up, uh, just a lot of people didn't show up. But I, I wasn't disappointed. I spoke to a lot of people. I was really sociable. People really loved my suit. And um, yeah, I spoke to Jordana. I spoke to Hans. I spoke to uh, Topher a lot, actually. And uh, it feels amazing. It feels really nice to be able to speak to someone you used to hate in a very peaceful and honest way. I spoke to him about Mary, the love situation. And uh, he gave a pretty interesting perspective on it. Not interesting, but... He gave his own piece of perspective. And yeah, I took a lot of photos, uh, spoke to Rushmore, uh, Mr. Rushmore, the math teacher, uh, whom I, I've been wanting to speak to. And uh, it, it was a nice day. I'm not feeling happy. I'm not feeling sad. I'm not feeling emotional. Instead, I feel quiet. 
I feel peace. I feel normal. I feel stable. And this is a really nice, soothing feeling. I feel like I want to listen to a uh, quiet, stripped back folk album right now and just sit and think, you know? Um, that's it. Uh, I'm not going to do too much later. Uh, so Natalie texted me for a while. Like, we had a bit of a conversation. Uh, Natalie's really pissed off at Grant because Grant um, uh, did a lot of bad things. And uh, <laughs> uh, that's it. That's, that's basically it. And uh, Betsy posted a photo on Instagram that is photographed by me using my phone and she tagged me as the photographer and the photo is being reposted several times so uh, that's really cool people are loving my photography finally and uh, that's all for today Miss Solomon showed up I said hi to her and uh, yeah it was a fun time and um, I feel really calm right now I haven't felt so calm in a long time like like in contrary to what I thought I, how I thought I would feel I thought I would feel sad and empty and alone but no I feel fine so that's that oh um I forgot to mention a couple things um first of all Tyrus and I when we talked um he joked that I'm culture DTCTV and I said I have a second channel called losers collective and it's spelt uh loser C L L C T V and he's like stop it with the fucking acronyms and um oh shit I forgot what what else did I talk about I spoke briefly to Hans about Hong Kong music and uh during the tea um Adam and Topher briefly mentioned my short film because I was talking about confessing my love to a girl and he's like they're jo they jokingly said well haha thus your short film right and I said well partially and they were like, oh, partially. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Alright, time now is 2.42 p.m. on December 5th. We are uh, 21 days away from, from leaving. 21 days, guys. 21 days. 21? And, uh, yeah, uh... What happened yesterday, like, I would probably regard yesterday as my best day of the year. Um, it's not the happiest day, but I think it is the best day. So, uh, that's that. Because I don't think, um, you know, my perception of what's good now, it's different. So, happy doesn't necessarily equate to good. There could be something better than that. And that's peace. Uh, anyways, I had a very good sleep for the first time in four days. Um, I, um, slept all the way from 4.30 to 2 p.m. And, uh, my sore throat is significantly better now. So, three days of sore throat, yay. Yesterday was, you know, the peak of my sore throat. Just so happens to be the graduation ceremony, but I still pulled through. And, uh, yeah, I don't feel like I have fever. Okay, so yesterday, right before I went to bed, I checked my body temperature and it's, 37.4 degrees which is bad which is uh above my average my average is 36 point something i took a panadol pill and i feel fine now so i don't i, I hope i don't get fever again but my sore throat is going it's gone it's about to be gone it's still a little bit and uh yeah that's all i'm not gonna do too much today um honestly i have college homework I have a TV episode and a movie to watch, The Room, and uh, I'm going to film a, a YouTube video, I'm going to edit a thoughts update, and most importantly, I'm going to transfer all the stuff, all my stuff from the computer to my uh, hard disk, because my computer is uh, dying, my PC over there is dying, and uh, I need to transfer everything before it explodes or something, so uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, it's going to be a very chill day. And uh, yeah, my Instagram post, I made two Instagram posts uh, yesterday. I, I, I hesitated because, okay, maybe it's better to, you know, keep it down. But um, no, anyways, I made two Instagram posts on um, like uh, the graduation ceremony. One is in my private and I didn't put any caption because I thought, you know, pictures are better than words and it's cooler to not say anything about it 
just post a bunch of random photos, tagged a bunch of people, and I have like 50 something likes right now, which is uh, crazy. You know, I don't think I've ever received this many likes in a post before. And then same goes for my public account. In my public account, it's a little bit more abstract. I typed a poem out both in Chinese and English in, um, in the caption, and I didn't post anyone or tagged anyone. I just posted a photo of myself a very hyper cropped photo of myself and uh, another photo of a sea of heads and uh, I also received uh, 49 likes for that so that is pretty cool so um, yeah that is all that is all that is all that is all okay today is the next day I forgot to mention that uh, Betsy before we started eating the fried chicken Betsy said uh, my face looked more yun yun, which means I, I look fatter, which is a compliment because that's exactly what I was working towards. So there's that. All right, time now is 11.29 p.m. on December 5th, uh, 20 days left, about to be 19. So, um, yeah, uh, my sore throat has gotten way better. At this point, it is almost completely non-existent. So I'm kind of happy that, you know, it only took me three days to heal my sore throat. Anyways, I have a runny nose right now, so that's a bad thing. Uh, but anyways, um, um, I spoke to Natalie briefly today. I asked her if she's still sick and she said yes. So maybe we won't be able to have tea tomorrow, which is a bit sad. But Pink did invite me to watch Anita, the biopic tomorrow. So I'm I'm going to do that, uh, probably, hopefully. I mean, I, I will hang out with people if I get the chance at this point. Um, I, I'm fat. Again, I, I, I've said this a couple times. Never had I ever imagined that I would have to deal with a problem like this but in fact and not in a good way not in a good way my belly is a bit fatter than I would like it to so I'm gonna go out and work out a couple more times and and not really work out like jogging I mean I'm just gonna go jogging I'm gonna run laps I'm gonna sweat a lot and uh, just go jogging and finally that's that so I returned home about an hour ago uh, actually uh, a couple hours ago and then I took a shower and I just have no motivation to do to do anything right now. I uh, I just have no motivation to do anything. Like I, I have homework to do, but I just don't have any motivation to. So I really don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to have to do them anyways, like right now and, and find some sort of motivation. So I'm going to uh, edit a thoughts update video, do some Spanish homework. And then afterwards, um, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, watch uh, an episode of Succession, watch The Room, and then go to sleep, and then that's it. So I want to go out and jog slash workout for two more days in the following 20 days, and that is already two out of 20, if possible. Okay, so here is a quick update on every single thing I have to do in the following um, 20 days. So, uh, all right, here we go. I don't know what's going on outside. It's just a lot of noise. Of course, every time I start filming something, of course, we have to disrupt it. Okay, uh, so uh, today is December 5th, and I just had dinner with my dad's parents. Quick dinner, just okay. On the 6th, tomorrow, I originally wanted to have tea with Natalie, but I don't know if Natalie's okay with that. So, uh, however, tomorrow I will have a movie going with Pink, very likely. And then, that is pretty much it. I planned originally to have a convenience store thing. Like, to make a convenience store related video, either on the 7th or the 9th. Because 7th is Tuesday and 9th is Thursday. I'm on, and on these both days, I also don't have a lot of homework to do. So, uh, oh, speaking of homework, God, uh, when... When am I gonna have a site another psychology homework? God damn. Uh, but uh, yeah, so maybe I'm going to have a convenience store thing on the 9th and then uh, 
for uh, December 10th, I have to watch Drive My Car at night. December 13th, I have math exam. 15, I have psychology exam. For 17, I'm going to hang out with Zara and Miriam, probably. On the 18th, I will have to start packing my luggages, and I will also have to go to um, my dad's brother's house and have dinner there, a final dinner with my dad's family. And then afterwards, on the 19th, I will have to go to my mom's friend's place to have a birthday thing and have a final meal with my mom's friends. And then that's pretty much it. On December 20th, I may, hopefully, hang out with Leo to either go hiking or to travel around in the uh, uh, Wong district. And on the 21st, I will have a haircut and I will go to the bookstore and buy stuff. I will also go and just buy pens if I have time. Maybe on the same day as the convenience store or maybe on the 21st. On the 22nd, I and my family will go to Chengzhou. And on the 23rd, uh, there's a, a coronavirus checking. Maybe, I don't know. And then for December 24th, that is my last day in Hong Kong. And that's basically going to be my final destination. And uh, that's pretty much it. So actually not a lot uh, until you consider the fact that I still have a bunch of things I have to do. Market visits. So I need to uh, go to a lot of supermarkets and markets because I want to know food prices and stuff. Uh, final meal with Leo and Pink. Me hanging out with Pink uh, tomorrow will not be final. There will be a final meal between me, Leo, and Pink. There will be a final meal with Natalie, separate from the tea, hopefully. I want to go to a cat cafe, so maybe a um, cat cafe along with the final meal with Leo and Pink on the same day. Who knows? And that is it. That is it. Um, so, uh, another thing I have to talk about is what happens after I left. So, obviously, I'll, be, I'll still be taking the same plane to San Fran and then to Seattle. And then, um, originally, the plan is to go from Seattle to Vancouver on the 27th and then return on 28th back to Seattle. But complications happened and um, the USA, uh, Canada, COVID checking thing and policy has changed. So because of that, my, um, my mom's sister, aka my aunt, uh, I need to, I need to, like, specify like which if it's maternal side or paternal side my maternal aunt because in Cantonese it's it's different words so my maternal aunt and her sons aka my cousins cannot go to Canada so I will be staying in Seattle for one two three four days four days okay to be exact it will be one night, two night, three night, and four. Four nights. Four nights. Four days and four nights. So uh, that's that. So I will have a, a little bit more extra time. Maybe, I know I'm, I know it's a wishful thinking, but maybe I could hang out with Linda and Darnell. And given that they're going to be free in Christmas, and I don't think they will come back to Hong Kong, given the 21-day quarantine thing. Uh, maybe I can hang out with them, which is insane because I haven't spoken to them in years other than Linda. I spoken to Linda a little while ago, which is nice. Um, but that's pretty much it. Nothing else to talk about. Nothing else to talk about. Yay.